that's just not workable. I don't know any utility that functions that way. So you, I don't, I don't know what you've gotten by making that change in the operations of the business. There are normal retirements, there are changes, but we always try to maintain the capacity of our system. That's what we do. We're there to maintain um, the delivery of essential services, we call it the necessities of life for the, uh, for the community. So I don't think that's in question. I mean, if you know, we're at some point, we're also gonna be looking at the coal plant. There's going to have to be arrangements made that can continue the capacity of the utility to provide that. Nobody's gonna buy the coal plant. Nobody's gonna buy the Deer Haven One facility. I mean, what you're talking about here is, uh, when Ms. Botcher talks about uh, raiders, if you will, the corporate raiders that are out there, they would be buying customers. This goes toward the organization as a whole. This goes toward the capacity of the system. So operationally, I'm fine with the way it's written in the charter right now. Um, that's why I was saying, you know, legally, um, it's, it's up to the city attorney to decide whether there's any material to change, change from that. So I'm, I'm comfortable with the materiality part. Mr. Yeah, um, the examples we heard are absolutely projections. You know the year, the year the referendum, three years ahead. Mr. That's not true. We are the terms. That's, that's not true. Um, these things are analyzed. It's just like Kelly over here, we're doing some work on it. You do some structural metallurgical work on it, you find out that there's a period of time in which you can make a change. That's what we project it to be. That's why we have outages on a regular basis. That's why we have professional work being done to decide what has to be done. You can't plan that in that kind of a fashion. In that, it, it, This is not legislative, it's operational. Well, he just told us a year, I just responded to what was said. Right, but I mean, again, if you get a referendum and this is something that's operational, like what needs to be done, and you have voters that don't understand, and then what are you gonna do with the Deer Haven One plan? Because we don't want it. I mean, I, I think I totally understand what you're saying. You know, this is operational. There's a difference. I mean, what, Ms. Blatcher, this is so more right, than right. You. So I was okay. fine with it. So um, I have tremendous respect for the city attorney's office, um, and certainly for Mr. Belarski as well. And if both are comfortable um, with, you know, if you look on document where it's stricken out um, with keeping that in um, and based upon their professional opinions and many years